British lawmakers, they are urging their government to rescind its offer of a state visit and all the pomp and circumstance that goes with it to President Donald Trump. And during a debate in Parliament, President Trump was called a misogynist, a bigot, and a petulant child. What? There is no way, no way Donald Trump deserves this honor. Not only Trump's misogyny and racism, but also his contempt for basic climate science. The supporters of the invitation say canceling would be catastrophic for our relationship. Watch this. The relationship, the special relationship between the United Kingdom and the United States of America goes beyond any individual that might happen to occupy the White House at any particular time. All right, the debate was called after nearly two million people signed a petition calling for the state visit to be downgraded. In addition, the House of Commons Speaker has set aside his usual neutrality to say Trump should not be invited to address Parliament while visiting. Joining me right now is the member, a member of Parliament, Lord John Taylor. Lord Taylor, good to have you here. All right, they're trying to, they're trying to nix this thing. They don't want him to have uh, any of the ceremonial aspects that go along with a visit like that. They don't even want Donald Trump to address Parliament. Uh, what, is, what is your concern in all of this? Why is this, in your view, uh, bad? Well, hello and greetings from London. This is ridiculous. He's an elected president of the United States of America, and we should respect that. You mentioned that two million people signed the petition. We have 64 million people in Britain. They didn't sign. So it's a fuss about nothing. It's a storm in a teacup. Mm -hmm. So we've seen this actually quite a bit here in the U.S. In other words, you get a, some noisy few. They, they create a lot of noise. Uh, Hollywood's included in that noise. And they get everybody all riled up. And then it turns out, well, gosh, yeah. someone like Donald Trump does win the election because more people felt, uh, even though maybe they didn't tell you, they felt strongly that he was the best for our country. I mean, similar to kind of what we saw there with Brexit. I mean, everybody said there was no way, no chance, no how that Brexit would actually occur, and yet it did. So again, the noisy few sort of capturing the imagination and the attention of many? Well, there's an, there's an old saying that's the creaking wheel that makes the most noise. You know, this man was elected as president. In the past, the Queen has invited uh, President Mugabe of Zimbabwe, the Emir of Kuwait, leaders from uh, North Korea, from Vietnam, from Saudi Arabia. They are dictators. They came. Mm -hmm. They were uh, welcomed at the palace. They came to parliament. You know, President Trump is simply a strong leader. Yes, he may have some views that we don't all agree with, but you don't ban a man for that reason. Mm -hmm. He's a strong leader. He is democratically elected and we have to respect that. You don't look at the man, you look at the mandate. And he was voted by the American people. Let me ask you about another uh, issue, of course, in the news there on, on your side of the pond. The House of Lords launching a bid to gain greater say for Parliament when it comes to Brexit. Lord Taylor, what, what is the hold up here? The vote to leave the EU was months ago. No, no. Uh, the vote was on the 23rd of June of last year. But you need to understand this, that Brexit is not an event, it's a process. It then had to go to the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. They decided that we should uh, debate it and vote on it in Parliament. So it went to the House of Commons on the 8th of February. They voted for Brexit. Then it comes to the Upper House, and I'm a member of the Upper House, and we are now debating that. We have until the 31st of March to trigger Article 50. So we're well within the timetable. All right. Well, uh, we'll be watching for it all. Thank you so much. It's good to have you here, Lord Taylor. <laughs> Thank all right. you.